All right, it is time for some quarters. Um, got the quarter box. This is one of the, the different styles that I usually get. The coins are standing up right now on edge. But we're going to cut into this and check and see if these are circulated or not. Uh, hopefully they are, because I really need to get these back to the bank in a couple days so I can get some more boxes. So that's why we're hunting them now. Oh, that is a state quarter. So we do have some circulated quarters. Yep, those look circulated. All right, so let me get into these and see what we've got in here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. I just pulled some rolls out, the first 10 rolls of the box. I don't know if you can hear that. When these were rolled up, they're a bit loose. On the first roll here, got the uh, new Maria Tall Chief quarter. Um, this one, you can find some di uh, die chips in the hair called the Extra Feather. They're a bunch of different sizes. Um, so that's a neat little find on a new recorder. And we're gonna put that up here and keep going. All right, I'm on roll number five and I have a cool find, but it is a little bittersweet. We've got a West Point. This is a West Point, but it is very dirty and circulated. Um, this is the American Memorial Park. Fortunately, it is not in a nice mint state condition anymore, but it is still a West Point, still a cool find. We're gonna put it up there. Hopefully, if we find another one, it'll be in better shape. <laughs> okay, roll eight, roll eight. And I've come across the Homestead 2015. And there are plenty of things to look for on these. Um, this one has a little bit of a die chip on the window here. Some people call that a bird's nest. Could be more snow, snow on the window. You can find die chips across the whole top of the roof. Die chips under the bucket here, or leaky bucket, and you find a ton of different double dies in the windows here. But that's what I found. It's been a while since I found one with a die chip on uh, the window here, so I figured I would share that. And put it up here. Okay, we've made it to roll 13, and I've got a Betsy Coleman here. A little, little dirty, a little worse for wear, but it has a die chip up on the plane here, on the plane swing, a pretty nice die chip there. Cool. Yeah, and I know you can find die chips on different spots on the wing, on the lower wing and stuff. There's a few other errors and varieties you can find on this. Well, I think there are errors. I haven't heard of any varieties. But cool. That's a cool little die chip there to find. Roll 16. And I've got an In God We Rust quarter here. Um, this one has a fair bit amount of strength through on it. You can see all the different... Um, how the light catches a little differently. Um, you can see we are missing uh, the T and the R and the G and the O are very, very light. Those are all, it looks like a little bit of the D is a little light there. So N, D, we rust. So this is considered an any God we rust quarter. And here is the reverse. You can see it has a little bit of a gray strike through around the outside as well of the uh, Buffalo there, 2005 Kansas City in Godby Rust Quarter. Very cool. Fun find. All right, I'm towards the end of roll 16, and I got this um, Eleanor Roosevelt Quarter, uh, and I'm not sure what's going on right here. Looks like a possible type of strike through, maybe. Um, looks like there's a part of the coin that is just missing. It's either pressed in or just a peak piece of the surface flaked off. Um, it's really weird and interesting looking. Um, I was looking for some double dies over in the area there. Um, everything else on the coin looks fine. It does have some dirt from circulation on it. But otherwise, I don't know, interesting find there. We're gonna add that to the stack. I'm back on roll 18 and we've got an interesting find here. 
got this nice Bessie Coleman here, if I can get it to focus. Um, right here, where the other one I found has a die chip, this one has, um, looks like where the die had cracked, but hadn't fallen out, maybe? I don't know, definitely interesting look. It looks, definitely look like uh, that's where uh, the die had cracked before and has not fallen out yet. So that's a pre-die chip. Um, I know there's a term for that, but I do not know the term name for that. Oh, really cool find though. Roll 22, got another Roosevelt, Eleanor Roosevelt hair. This one has what looks like some doubling on the scales here on the um, platter on the scales here. Um, again, that could be machine doubling or it could be uh, double dye. I'm not really sure just because on where it is and how it looks. Um, uh, we got to do some uh, research on that one. But still, another cool find there. Roll 23. I've got a 2015 Homestead. This one has a double die on the reverse here in the window. Um, if I can hold it still. Very cool. Um, this is one of the ones that I do like to look for. All kinds of interesting stuff on there. So, oh, yep. We'll put that. Well, oh, it's different. We'll put it over here. All right, we are on tube roll 17. And I've got this Lowell. This one has a die crack right here between the bell tower and the other tower over here. Um, usually you find the die, uh, die chip in here. Sometimes you see a die crack here. This one has a small one here. But I've never found one with a die crack out here. So interesting, interesting, definitely interesting. It has felt like it's been a while since the last find. We're on roll 41 and I've got another double die here in the window on this 2015 Homestead. It's a nice uh, find there. Nine rolls left to go. Well, 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 we got a W. A roll 43. We got a 2022. This one has the preview mark there on this West Point. And this is a tall grass prairie. Nice. A little bit better shape than the other one. Still a bit circulated, but that's going to happen. Um, as these coins are now coming on four, th this one's uh, four years old, four to five years old. Uh, so yeah, very cool find. Awesome to find another W in here. Um, I still got seven more rolls to go. So fingers crossed we have some more cool finds. Roll 49, we got another homestead with more doubling in the windows here. Very cool. That's three of those this hunt. Nice. Before the final breakdown here, just wanted to share some of these that uh, I find uh, most hunts. Um, so I didn't record all these, and these are common finds. Um, did have the nose, uh, the die chip on the nose here, on two two Teddy Roosevelts. I got a lol the die chip in the bell tower this time, the ghost in the bell tower. Keith Edith Kanakoli has a bunch of you can find a bunch of die chip chips usually in the K and or A here. And I've got three of those that probably hit a few more, but it's one I don't usually look for uh, because they are quite common. The Woman Man Killer die chip in the back of the hair. This one is very common and I don't look for it, but one caught my eye, so I figured I'd share it again since it's been a while since I've actually looked for that one. And then the extra cactus leaf on the Arizona here. This one is, has this uh, extra die chip here. Looks like these little cactus leaves over the designer initials. And uh, I've come across these quite often recently. Um, it might have been a while since the last one I've come across. But anyhow, those are some of the more uh, common finds that I, I do come across that I didn't record. Okay, for the final wrap up, those are the, the ones that are common that I just went over. Um, three homesteads with uh, DDRs in the windows. Double dies in the windows. Had the one in Garby Rust, Kansas quarter. Uh, had two with pot potential doubling on the um, scales here for the uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. And then one with the weird little spot on it. I'm again, not sure what it is. Could just be damaged, but definitely looks interesting and weird. Um, this one low with the die crack outside of the 
bell tower there. Um, two West Points, 119 and 120. Um, the uh, American Memorial Park and Tallgrass Prairie. I actually ended up with four. Okay. I had one, uh, Maria Talchi with the extra tail feather. Three of these Bessie Coleman's, one with the die chip there, and two of them with similar uh, weak die, uh, die crack, weak die area there that would eventually become a die chip. And then this one here with the die chip on the top of the window there, a homestead. Snow or bird's nest on the window are some of the names I've uh, heard it called. Okay, so that wraps it up for the finds in this hunt. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Had some uh, odds and ends, some interesting stuff this hunt, so that's always fun to find some really interesting things. All right, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support